Good morning and welcome to another tutorial of mine. This is Dashboard, which is this thing here, which also is these things. It's just another of my pro Mac wallpapers, just promoting Mac. And there you go, that's F12. That's currently 13 degrees Celsius in Sydney. Anyway, I have to move on because I've made a few versions and they've all been too long with this tutorial because YouTube has a 10 minute limit. So I thought I would show you today how to create a PDF document from any Mac application that can print. You know, you normally have your file print, but on Mac it has a big um, backbone PDF or Adobe Acrobat, whatever you want to call it. You can just create a document. So it's like going to the printer, but it actually creates a file. So I shall show you now how to set this up. So you go to of your finder or top right, which is looks like a hard disk, and you go into your library. We need to create a folder in here. New folder called PDF. Oops, sorry. Services. Okay, that's there now. Um, music here in the background is something I made with iLife 08, which I picked up, and it has GarageBand 08. There you go, there's iLife. It's just something a bit funky and a bit different, something happening in the background. So say, for example, I want to save this page, and normally I would go file save as and I'd save and it would like save the all the images as well as the actual web page and it's a bit messy but if I now go file print or Apple P there's no actual print button enabled because there's no real printer but I can go save as PDF. I'll save this to my desktop processing and there's one page. So here we go, on my desktop. There's my PDF document. Created. And you can just show you a few applications. So if I want to open up my iCal bouncy and this would have a print somewhere. So you go file, print, and there's a, a preview here of today okay maybe not today but let's start on the okay we can pick a day today is actually the 23rd of August yep. and we're going to print this okay continue and or save as PDF okay Save this to desktop as well. So we drag it down. Save. Go. Okay, we quit. Apple Q. There's no one here. And there you go. That's made a PDF. So basically, any application you want can create a PDF. Now there's a new trick I can show you, which you can automatically save to any folder you want. So, for example, I create a folder in here called PDFs. Okay. And there's, say I want to create a work folder. Whoops, oops, enter. Work folder. Actually, I don't like work folder. Too long. Say so work. There we go. Folder Oops. play. Now these files. So now what I want to do is create shortcuts, or as Mac calls it, alias. I don't know why each they have to all use different words. It's like bookmarks and favorites. But what you can do is you can hold down Apple and Option, which is next to Apple, and you can drag, hold down your button, and your there you go into there, hold it, and it will spring open. 
we go into library and we gotta find PDF services. Where is it? Scroll down. Where's PDF services? Oh dear. That's not it. Change views actually. So, let's just create the shortcuts. Okay. There you go. I've created the shortcuts. But if I was in this view, it would be easier. But I wasn't because I was silly. So, we all do these things. But here are the shortcuts it's created. Let's Properly, so you got move this to trash, move this to trash, move this to trash. Okay, so I got this folder here. This is all the folders I want to make shortcuts to. Let's go into PDF services in my library. Services. Where is it? There we go. Not that. It's been nice and easy now. So you grab, select these. Sometimes you have to think ahead before you just drag and drop. Apple option. Click. Yep. Apple option. Click. Here we go. And you can see them. Move these across. Okay. So now they own PDF services. So now what I shall do is go to Safari and we'll we'll pick another page, a random one. Let's go and look at say the iPhone page. It's the iPhone page and this is okay I'm gonna print this. Print in play. There you go, and that appears automatically. So play, printing, and then we go to Mac. Here's some stuff on Mac. Let's see, and I'll look at Doc Mac. I'm going to save this information for later. File, print, save to Mac. Printing, printing. Let's quit that. We'll go back into Finder. And if we go here, we can also create a shortcut down there. Drag that. PDFs. Now Mac. Apple.Mac. There we go. It's been created. And go to PDFs again. We got. Up before. That was play. There you go. And we got iPhone as a PDF. Nice and simple. So I hope you've learned something new there. I hope that was interesting. And until next time, have fun and keep on fiddling about and playing and enjoying your Mac. Okay, bye for now.